All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shar, Bahasham Rakhakwadash. And Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shar being the true name of his only begotten Son who this world ignorantly called Jesus, and the Rechak Wadash is the Holy Spirit in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew tongue. And I also want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders, the great millstone, who rule well and teach well. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashem Yahushai will show his mercy upon in these last days. And I'm the brother, Ma'ait Gabar, from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. And I'm coming back with another Lord's willing, edifying lesson to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to the best of my ability. And uh, prior to this lesson, you know, just meditating upon the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right, as each day goes by, we getting closer and closer to the return of Yahweh Shai, okay? And, um, you know, these people have no idea, you know, uh, about how the day of the Lord is gonna be. These people believe that God is all good, Jesus loves, Okay, with both of those are not his name. All right, the true name of who the world ignorantly calls God is Yahweh, and the name of his only begotten son, his name is Yahweh Shai, which means he saves and he delivers. And those are the only people that's going to be shown mercy. Okay, which is the which is the remnant. Okay, the hundred and forty-four thousand, and then the innumerable multitude. All right, but the scripture says in Exodus. I believe that's 15, 15 and three, that the Lord is a man of war, all right? And these people are about to see, see, all right? These people are about to see that, man, all right? So I just wanna get a few scriptures going into the return of Yahweh Shai, okay? So let's start here. This is uh, Isaiah 42 and 13 and it reads, the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai shall go forth as a mighty man. Right, this is talking about our Lord, man. Okay, which who who is the mightiest of the mighties? All right, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Okay, who you think? Uh, you know, th think about uh, like King David. All right, King David was a mighty man. He was a man of war. Okay, you got the tribes of Gad, Reuben, and half of the tribe of Manasseh. Those are war tribes. So what do you think, you know, uh, our people get those characteristics from? They get it from Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Those attributes come from our Lord, man. All right, who you ignorantly call God, who you ignorantly call the Messiah. Okay, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right, and it says, he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. All right, which Yahweh Shah is coming back in that stead. He's gonna come back with a, like a man of war, man. Okay? And you know, he's gonna come back with the chariots. Okay, he's gonna come back with the Michael and the Archangels. So the Heavenly Father, man, is gonna show the world. All right. He's gonna show the world, man. Okay? And it says, he shall cry, yea, roar, he shall prevail against his enemies. All right, Yahweh Shai is going to prevail against his enemies, man. Okay, and all the people who come up against the Lord are considered an enemy. Okay, even the, even the two-thirds of the nation of Israel are considered enemies to the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right, because if you're not doing the will of the Heavenly Father, you are an enemy. 
Okay, that's why Yahweh Shah himself said, if you're not with me, then you are against me. Okay? And how do you show that you uh with Yahweh Shah? By doing the things that he commanded you to do. Okay? And it says verse 14. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still. See, so the Heavenly Father and His Son have long time holding their peace. Okay? That's why the scripture says that you know, the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. So, the Heavenly Father and His Son, man, have been holding back. Okay? But that that's only for a little while longer. Okay? And as we see 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob Trouble, man. All right? You got prophecies, you know, popping off. Okay? You have um, up wars of the people. It's popping off. You got the MOTB, which is we're inching closer and closer towards the MOTB. You know, we're seeing the earthquakes, we're just seeing the forest fire, the natural disasters, the hurricanes. You know, so everything is lining up to to the Heavenly Father's will. All right, and His will will be done. And it says, "And refrain myself." Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. So you how about Shmuel Shai, man? Okay, it's gonna come back, and, and he's not gonna hold back. Yeah, he's gonna cry like a travailing woman that's ready to give birth. Okay, so it's gonna be a lot of emotions. All right, Heavenly Father is coming back with a lot of anger. That's why Revelations one and seven it says, "Every eye shall see him, even those also which pierced him." Okay, shall be wailing, gnashing of the teeth. You know, so these people that angered Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. Okay, and, and judgment will begin at the house of the Most High, as it says in the book of uh, First Peter. Let's start with that. The Lord gonna hand out ass weapons to His people first. So this is the book of First Peter, four and seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. So judgment is going to start with his people first. Okay, especially the ones, those are of the circumcision. Those who know uh, that they're Israelites, men who, who came into the truth and fell out of the truth. These false prophets within the nation of Israel teaching things contrary to to uh to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and, and, and his men that he have set up. Okay, because you got men who come in in their own in their own lust. Alright, and that deceitful spirit. Okay. They're teaching contrary to uh contrary to the scriptures. Okay, such as Revelations 13, 16 and 17. You know, and that and that prophecy in itself is gonna separate the men from the boys. That's how we're gonna know. Who are the Heavenly Father's true servants. Alright. Once that MOTB is made mandatory. Okay. You got men who in this truth know the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. But they call them Motai and Christ Blessed. So, so Yahweh Shai, man, is going to get at those type of cats first, man. All the fallouts. All the scoffers. All the mockers. Okay. Judgment is going to start at the house of the Most High. Okay, which is you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelite foreigners. Okay. But um, let's go here to another scripture. It's the book of Isaiah 63, and starting at one. Who is this that cometh from, from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? And this is talking about our Lord Yahweh Shai. You see? And that's how you know that Yahweh Shai was prophesied both in the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, the New Testament. All these books correlate one to another. Okay? The Old Testament is not separate from the New Testament. The Apocrypha is not separate from the Old and the New Testament. Actually, the Apocrypha is a is uh is a part of the Old Testament. Right? And it says this that is glorious in his apparel, travailing in the greatness of his strength. I speak in righteousness, mighty to save. All right, so we again that's talking about our Lord Yahweh Shai. 
It says, wherefore art thou red in thy apparel? Right, so when Isaiah seen this in the vision, okay, it's not literal, all right? Like Yahweh Shah had blood on his garment. No, nah, that's, uh, it's a figurative, you know, basically saying that it's gonna be a lot of death during the return of, of, of Yahweh Shai. And it says, and like them that treadeth in, in the wine fat, I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. So the Heavenly Father, I mean, Yahweh Shah is not going to be walking around, all right, with Edomite's blood all over him. Nah, the Lord's not even going to get his hands dirty, okay? The, the missiles, the chariots, the, uh, the concentrated fire coming from those, from, from the chariots, okay? Hey, this is going to be a lot of death. It's going to be a lot of destruction, all right? The Lord is only coming to, to, to gather up his elect. And if you're not a part of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's elect, you will, you're going to be destroyed. Okay, whether it's by, you know, the nuclear fire, whether it's by the concentrated fire coming from the laser beams, whether it's these pestilence, whether it's these uh, dying in the race wars, whether it's dying by famine. Let's get this Isaiah 10 and 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as our escape of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel in truth. Right, and that's the elect, all right? Because in these latter days, we're uh, returning back unto Yahweh Bashem Shai. We're seeking that good path, okay? We're not staying upon, you know, uh, this system. We're not trusting in Esau, Edom, all right? We're fully uh, trusting in Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay, and it says it shall, shall again stay upon him that shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. Right. Who, who is that? That's Esau Edom. All right. Which is our enemy. It says, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One in Israel and truth. Okay. And that's what we lean upon. We're leaning upon Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh We're leaning upon all right, his promises in this, 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 the Bible. Okay. These scriptures. Verse 21. The remnant shall return, all right, which is the elect, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power, all right. So only his elect, that remnant, is going to return back unto Yahweh Bashem Al Shai and ultimately be saved. So the Lord, you know, always dealt with a small number. So let's get this to wrap it up with going back to Isaiah 63 and verse 3. Let's read that one more time. Isaiah 63 and 3, I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger. See, so the Heavenly Father is coming back angry. The Heavenly Father is not coming back, you know, all happy and, you know, roses, giving everybody uh, hugs, you know, giving everybody salutes. No, the Heavenly Father and His Son are angry, okay? And it says, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment, and I will stain all my raiment. Verse four, it says, for the day of vengeance is at my hand, is, is in my heart. All right, so that heart in the Hebrew is la, which is meaning your mind. So, so Yahweh Shai cannot wait until Yahweh gives him the green light, okay? It says that in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. Now, let's get that to wrap it up with. All right, but it says the day of the Lord, um, vengeance is in his heart. So, so Yahweh Shai can't wait to deliver his his remnant, okay? To gather up his his men, okay? Gather up his true believers, and also to destroy the wicked. So let's get this. This is um Matthew twenty four, starting at thirty six. But of the day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So, so Yahweh has this day reserved unto himself. Okay, Yahweh being who the world ignorantly calls God. Yah means he, Yahweh means exists. He is to be. Okay? So, so Yahweh Shai doesn't know the, the his day that he's gonna return. He knows all things, you know everything else. But but the day of his return, he does not know. It says verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, 
so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. All right, so no days, days of Noah, what were the people doing? Enjoying their lives, indulging in the flesh. Okay, just like how these uh, Americans are. They're not considering that this system is about to collapse. These people are not considering that Yahweh Bashem Shai is judging the world, judging America, you know, with all the famines, all the all the fires. You know, these farmers are, are suffering because they can barely uh, keep up, you know. And it says, verse 38, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying, giving into marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. So, so just like it was during the time of Noah, that's how it is in these times. These people indulging in this flesh, you know, partying, drinking, enjoying their 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 summer vacays, you know, enjoying uh, the, the enjoying traveling, you know, and that's why the day of the Lord is going to overtake these people like a thief because they walking in that spirit in darkness. Okay, but we are of the light. Lord willing, we be at that number. We are of the light. Okay, we have this wisdom knowledge understanding which is which is a path unto our feet and finishing off of verse 39 and knew not until the flood came and took them all away all right see so it's like we don't know when jacob trouble is going to pop off but the thing is we're anticipating the thing is that we're you know that we're watching so when that flood comes in which is esau edom we're not going to be shocked we're not going to be surprised because we're expecting these things we're measuring the times diligently it says so shall also the coming of the son of man be okay so Yahweh shot man he, he's getting ready to come back he's getting ready to destroy a lot of people beginning with our people you so-called blacks hispanic and native americans and uh if you're not right you're going to be put down okay so with that i'm gonna close out by giving all praises and all honor and all glory to my power Yahweh. Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, or Kakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. I also want to say Shalom to the, to the hopeful elect, the one, uh, 144,000, Salakir, the 144,000. All right, those men that are doing this work in sincerity and the truth. I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children. Who Yahweh Bashem Al Shai will show his mercy upon in these last days. And Tawadi Al Bashem Al Shai for giving me the spirit of truth. And Tawadi Al Bashem Al Shai for giving me the Holy Spirit. The Rakak with us to make this lesson the Lord's willing. Until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom, 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 Shalom.